Good morning. I'm going to read you a poem from the poet Joy Harjo this morning. Joy Harjo was named the Poet Laureate of the United States in 2019. She is a member of the Muscogee Creek Nation. She has many books out, 14 or 15 books out, and I have never read one before. She is the favorite poet of a very good friend of mine. And so I did, I take a recommendation. The name of the book I'm reading from is titled A Map to the Next World. And that's, it's also the title of the first poem in the book, which is what I'm going to read to you this, this morning. It's absolutely beautiful. And so far, I absolutely love this book. So I hope this will encourage you also to read some Joy Harjo. Um, it's a really an amazing uh, series of accomplishments she's made. She's a musician, a playwright, uh, many other things. And uh, we are lucky to have her as our poet laureate. So um, let's engage her work uh, maybe more than, than we do. So, all right, I'll put links below um, and I'm going to read this to you. And this is, I'm reading eBooks now apparently. So this is on my phone um, and it's titled A Map to the Next World. In the last days of the fourth world, I wished to make a map for those who would climb through the hole in the sky. My only tools were the desires of humans as they emerged from the killing fields, from the bedrooms and the kitchens. For the soul is a wanderer with many hands and feet. The map must be of sand and can't be read by ordinary light. It must be to the next tribal town for renewal of spirit. In the legend are instructions on the language of the land, how it was we forgot to acknowledge the gift, as if it were not in and of it. Take note of the proliferation of supermarkets and malls, the altars of money. They best describe the detour from grace. Keep track of the errors of our forgetfulness. The fog steals our children while we sleep. Flowers of rage spring up in the depression. Monsters are born there of nuclear anger. Trees of ashes, we wave goodbye to goodbye, and the map appears to disappear. We no longer know the names of the birds here, how to speak to them by their personal names. Once, we knew everything in this lush promise. What I am telling you is real and is printed in a warning on the map. Our forgetfulness stalks us, walks the earth behind us, leaving a trail of paper diapers, needles, and wasted blood. An imperfect map will have to do, little one. The place of entry is the sea of your mother's blood, your father's small death as he longs to know himself in another. There is no exit. The map can be interpreted through the wall of the intestine, a spiral on the road of knowledge. You will travel through the membrane of death, smell cooking from the encampment where our relatives make a feast of fresh deer meat and corn soup in the milk. They have never we abandoned them for science. And when you take your next breath as we enter the fifth world, the wheat will be no X, no guidebook with words you can carry. You will have to navigate by your mother's voice, renew the song she is singing. Fresh courage glimmers from planets and lights the map printed with the blood of history, a map you will have to know by your intention, by the language of sun. When you emerge, note the tracks of the monster slayers where they entered the cities of artificial light and killed what was killing us. You will see red cliffs. They are the heart, contain the ladder. A white deer will come to greet you when the last human climbs from the destruction. Remember the whole of our shame, marking the act of abandoning our tribal grounds. We were never perfect, yet the journey we make together is perfect on this earth who was once a star and made of the same mistakes as human. We might make them again, she said. 
crucial to finding the way is this. There is no beginning or end. You must make your own map. That's such a beautiful poem. That's the opening to uh, the book, uh, Map to the Next World by jo Joy Harjo. And uh, um, I hope you'll all check out the book and check out some other things that she's done. And um, I hope you enjoyed that. All right, thank you very much.